Hello, it's Jimmy here at Rileys, and today we're looking at a Ford Focus and it's lost the coolant so we thought we'd show you how to bleed the coolant system if you've uh, for instance if you've, you can hear bubbles when you're inside the car some people report problems with that or you don't have any heat coming from the heaters or in for this case we have split a pipe and we're now replacing that part and once you've taking off the pipe you're gonna have you're gonna lose your coolant coolant so um, we're filling the coolant up and we're gonna bleed the system and we'll show you how it's done so if you've got a situation like this for whatever reason you've dropped your coolant level below the minimum you may have air in it and you'll have to perform this procedure so then we're gonna to need to check inside the car and on this car it's a digital um system here so we're going to switch it on and we're going to turn the heat all the way up to high and put the fan up a little bit as well so we're going to put that on as hot as possible now we're going to attach a funnel to our coolant reservoir here you can get some fancy funnels that got different fitments to make a nice fit but if not you can just get some tape like i've done here Put it around the bottom and press it down firmly so you've got a nice tight seal and it's nice and steady. And here we've got some ready mix coolant. If you've got uh, concentrated you can mix it 50% with water. And we can pour our coolant all the way in. Go down like that, lots of air bubbles coming up, and just carry on the procedure. you see it stuff like that so now we're at a position where it's not going down any further now we can go inside and start the car so just started the car and you'll see the coolant drop when the engine's running and it will keep going down as it's pulling the air through the system. Now the car's been running for a few seconds. We're gonna leave the heaters on hot, but we're gonna turn the fan down as low as possible, or to zero. With this being uh, an electronic system, we can't turn the fan all the way off without turning everything off, so we're just gonna leave it on as low as setting as possible. If you've got manual switches, can turn it all the way off but we want the hot air open because that's going to let your coolant circulate through the heater valve the uh, heater matrix or heater core whatever people like to call it once it's on hot position it's going to open the valve and let it flow through but first the car needs to get warm and if you look here we're currently on a cold engine we're going to do now is run the car at about 2000 rpm for a few minutes and you can either do that by sitting in the car and holding your foot on the accelerator or we've got this device here it's a depressor so we're just going to connect that to the pedal here Just gonna let that 
run for a few minutes until we can hear the engine fan come on or we see the temperature reach the centre down there which would be 90 degrees and we're just going to keep an eye on our coolant level if it drops you need to immediately fill it back up a little bit make sure that it doesn't drop below this, the minimum line as this is happening if you look along here you got your thermostat and your thermostat housing and on some models on top of that thermostat housing you can have a bleeder screw which opens and lets some of the air out but there isn't one on this car it's an automatic system so just gonna do it as we're showing you right now once your temperature has reached the center like it is here on this gauge we've got it right in the center there once it's reached that I'm gonna turn our fan up quite a bit and press it to the face forward and we're going to feel that to make sure we're getting some hot heat if it's lukewarm we're going to keep carrying on the procedure for another while until you get really hot air coming out of here if you've got any air bubbles or there's any air in the system or if you, your coolant level is too low then the air is going to be still cold from here so once, once this air is turned hot, it's a good sign that you're almost where you need to be. So we're going to let it run for another couple of minutes like this. And top up the coolant if need be, keeping, keeping your eye on it. On this pipe here again where you've got the thermostat, we're going to feel that. Give it some squeezes. And it's this is pipe is still cold. And if you feel down the other end over here that side of the pipe is hot so the thermostat has not opened yet because this side is cold so we're going to turn the heat heater fan back off for a minute and run the car to get a little bit warmer until the thermostat opens so we're just turning the heat heater fan down we're leaving it on high as you could see right out there not too sure if you could hear with the engine running but the thermostat one side is hot and the other side is cold so it in the center of the firm that hasn't opened yet so we're gonna let it run for another few minutes and we're just gonna give it some accelerations just to help it reach that temperature a little bit quicker so now for a minute we've just completely turned off the fan heating system this car is taking quite a long time to reach its temperature. Uh, the fan has still not come on, and the um, thermostat has not opened yet. Some of these newer models, you know, they're quite efficient in that, and they just take a lot longer than an older style car to get warm. So we should be almost there in a minute. We're coming up to about 10 minutes. So, uh, I mean, I've seen diesel cars take over 20 minutes to do this but petrol car this is so it should take a little bit a little bit less than that as you can see there when I've touched that firmness that housing is nice and hot fans been running and we're just gonna turn the hot heaters back on put it on full make sure they're working nice and warm which they are and we can go back outside the car look in our funnel here and just make sure that we're not getting any bubbles coming up still now the hot heater is working and everything's done I think it's about time we can remove our funnel here and if you've got a screwdriver the right size you can wedge it down in there and it'll stop you losing or spilling any of the coolant like that so you can take it away from the car without any spillage then we can put our funnel back into our bottle here, remove the screwdriver, and it goes back inside. Stick that back in our drawer. And that's one Ford Focus 1.0 litre EcoBoost. All done. So that's all done on that one today, and I uh, hope that we've put enough information to give you help on what you were looking for. So we'll see you next time.
We're just glad to get back in the van. It's freezing outside. See you on our next video.